After Azure VMware Solution deploys, you are able to start building applications and workloads within your cluster on Azure. Everything looks and feels as if it is vSphere on-premises. Within this demo environment, we have an Active Directory server, a web front end, and a database back end. These represent one migrated workload from on-premises. Microsoft Azure Native Services let you monitor, manage, and protect your VMs in Azure VMware Solution the same way you would monitor, manage, and protect your VMs on-premises. In fact, the VMs in Azure VMware Solution are much like VMs that may exist on-premises. As a consumer of the service, you can integrate with a number of services that will provide visibility into the performance and health of your workloads. The first of these integrations involves Azure Arc. Azure Arc extends Azure management to any infrastructure, including Azure VMware Solution, on-premises VMs, or other cloud platforms. Azure Arc enabled servers let you manage your Windows and Linux physical servers and virtual machines hosted outside of Azure on your corporate network or in another cloud provider. Azure VMware Solution VMs technically connect to an Azure VNet by way of the express route circuit that deploys with the service. So the recommended pattern is to treat them like hybrid VMs living on premises. In the Azure portal, search for Azure Arc. When the list of resources starts to display, select Servers Azure Arc. Click on Add at the top. As you can see, an engineer has options here related to deployment. You can enable a single server, multiple servers with a service principle, and then add update management servers, which is currently in preview. Within this demo, we'll select Generate Script. You will be presented with a prerequisite screen at first. This is good to review if you haven't evaluated what it would take to onboard a VM into Azure Arc. Select Next Resource Details. Tie the onboarding to the right subscription, resource group, region, and ensure you select the right operating system, Windows in this instance. Underneath Network Connectivity, note the different options you could choose if you wanted to ensure communication into Azure from VMs within Azure VMware Solution. For purposes of this demo, we'll use Public Endpoint. Select Next, Tags. Let's use the pre-populated tags on this screen. Provide production for the data center. Pick Chicago for the city. Illinois for the state. And USA for the country. Note, you can also use custom tags if you decide some of the physical location tags don't provide enough metadata for your environment. Once complete, select Next Download. The Azure Resource Manager portal generates a PowerShell script that will effectively onboard one server. If you are onboarding multiple servers, dedicate a service principle to the task and onboard all servers at the same time. Scroll down and select Download. Take a look at the file once it downloads, and you will see what it's doing. It's invoking a web request to download the package, and then the PowerShell script installs the package. Then the script runs a command that links the server to the right region and resource group in Azure. Next, log into one of the servers you would like to onboard with an Azure VMware solution. Run the script, and if prompted with a security warning, select Run Once. The script provides some verbose flags that indicate installation status. Eventually, you should see a requirement to log in and authenticate with the code provided. After inputting the code, you will see a dialog prompt asking you if you're trying to sign into Azure Connected Machine Agent. Select Continue and close out of the browser. After waiting a bit, you will see that the server has been successfully onboarded to Azure Arc. Next, flip back to the Azure Resource Manager portal. Search for Azure Arc again from the portal 
and the server you onboarded will now show up as registered with Azure Arc. This allows you to seamlessly manage and integrate with Azure Native Services for a comprehensive view of workload performance and health.